Uniswap fees are ridiculous. It can cost $100, $200, $300 to perform a simple swap. And it was all supposed to be fixed when Uniswap launched Uniswap version 3. But as this article headline states, Uniswap v3 became a uni flap on opening day. And the reason is because nothing was fixed. The gas fees remained extremely high. Initially, they were supposed to be lowered because Uniswap was going to integrate Optimism, a layer two scaling solution. But Optimism was delayed and it will not launch until at least July. And in the meantime, Uniswap is suffering. But tomorrow, Arbitrum, a layer two scaling solution, is set to go live. And Uniswap plans to integrate Arbitrum into their ecosystem. And by doing this, Arbitrum can help save Uniswap. And if this happens, Uniswap can help save Ethereum. Let me explain. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. You've probably heard a lot of talk recently about layer two scaling solutions and it's confusing. So we're going to do a quick summary as to what this means. When it comes to crypto and blockchain, there is layer one. This is where all the action happens, whether it's Ethereum or Bitcoin or another blockchain. But when these networks become busy, they become congested and gas fees become extremely high. So the obvious question is, well, just fix layer one. But it's not that simple. These networks are so decentralized that it's very hard for everyone to come to an agreement quickly and to consensus. Also, you don't want to move too quick on layer one because you're risking the security. Security is everything in blockchain, right? So you don't want to experiment on layer one. You know, if you're not sure what you're going to do is going to be safe. So right now, Ethereum has this problem, but people are building these layer two scaling solutions to help fix the problem in the short term. So with a layer two scaling solution, it is a solution built on top of layer one and it can inherit the security of layer one. And when you have a layer two scaling solution and it is integrated into projects, everything becomes cheaper, right? So if you're using a project that has a layer two scaling solution, you're gonna pay less fees and it's gonna be much faster. But at the same time, if many people are using the layer two scaling solution, it takes demand away from layer one. So the end users on layer two, they're happy, fast, cheap transactions. And everyone on layer one is happy because you're taking away the congestion. So it's a win-win for everyone. So many projects have been integrating layer two scaling solutions. Uniswap was supposed to, but of course optimism was delayed. But now when it comes to Uniswap, Uniswap holders are considering Arbitrum for their scaling layer two solution. And Arbitrum is a layer two solution that is going to be released tomorrow. May 28th. But as we know in crypto, don't be surprised if there is a delay, but hopefully it does look like it's actually going to be launched tomorrow. And this is big because Arbitrum says it can offer drastically higher transaction throughput than Ethereum while slicing gas fees to near zero. The system uses roll up technology to batch transactions before slapping them on chain. And when you see roll up technology, right, you know, putting these transactions together, batching them and then putting them on chain. I think one of the best ways to explain it is imagine that you're running a cafe and every time someone pays you for a coffee, right, two, three dollars, you close down the cafe, you walk to the bank, you deposit and then you come back to the cafe, open it up. You know, that's not going to work, right? All you're going to be doing all day is closing the store, walking back and forth. So in terms of a layer two scaling solution, the equivalent would be instead of going back and forth to the bank, you have a cash register at the cafe. Everyone pays for their coffee. And then at the end of the week, right, once a week, you go to the bank and settle everything on chain. And right now with Uniswap, they have a problem, right? They are one of the most popular decentralized exchanges, but the fees are just way too high. So they need to make a change very quick. And what's beautiful about cryptocurrency blockchain, and in this case, Uniswap, is that the users get to vote. If you have Uniswap, right, that's a governance token. So Uniswap put out a snapshot poll if they should deploy Uniswap v3 on Arbitrum. 100% said yes. And you can see over here, that is from 620 voters. Arbitrum launches later this week, May 28th. Again, we may see a delay, 
but Uniswap needs to do something very quick. Why? Because they will lose their place in this ecosystem. In the meantime, not deploying to new and growing networks like Arbitrum and Matic just allows for other exchanges to come in and fill that spot. And we see that it's slowly happening. If you look at DeFi Pulse, Uniswap should be number one. It has been number one for the longest time. But right now, Curve Finance is number one in decentralized exchanges. Why? Because Curve Finance has integrated a layer two scaling solution, Polygon. And you've probably heard about Polygon. It's been on fire lately. And this is because many projects are actually using Polygon. Curve times Polygon. SushiSwap, they have also integrated Polygon. Aave, they have their Aave market with Polygon. Decentraland, they have integrated Polygon's layer two scaling solution as well. So we have Uniswap here this whole time. They have not integrated any of these other layer two scaling solutions. But like we have just stated, they will have to. It is very likely they're going to integrate Arbitrum. And Arbitrum has stated that there is over 150 projects that have requested early access. And something important to note about Arbitrum, unlike Polygon Matic, there is no Arbitrum token. So you can't invest in Arbitrum. But the reason this is so big is because it helps everyone, everyone in the Ethereum ecosystem. First, it helps the users using Uniswap, which is you know the go-to exchange right now, unless you're a whale, you can't really use Uniswap. And this is where everyone wants to go to actually buy these you know, newer tokens. Also, by having all of that congestion taken away from layer one and put onto a layer two scaling solution, this helps everyone in Ethereum as well. And what's beautiful about Ethereum and blockchain is that it has composability, meaning that someone can create a solution for a problem, but then it can be adopted by another project, right? It's like Legos, plug and play. Someone builds something here, someone builds something there, and you can choose what you want and integrate it into your platform. And crypto exchange OKX recently announced it will support direct deposits and withdrawals into Arbitrum for its users to avoid expensive gas fees. So in the case of Arbitrum or in the case of Polygon, these solutions were created. Now all of these projects out there, just like Legos, plug and play, they can integrate it into their system. So right now this layer two space is becoming very competitive. Polygon Matic is by far the leader in the space. This is why there's a lot of excitement around it. This is why you just saw news that Mark Cuban invested in Matic but there are other players in this space. But I think the question everyone has is, well, this is being used right now to fix this problem of Ethereum, but we all know that Ethereum will scale into Ethereum 2.0. So when that time comes, when we have Ethereum 2.0 and transactions are fast and cheap, will we still need layer two scaling solutions? And the answer is, absolutely yes. And the reason is because when it comes to technology, it is never enough. For example, if we look today at phones or computers or internet, we've come a long way since 10 years ago. But even though we have great technology today, it's never enough. People always want the better camera. People always want the faster internet. People always want the next best feature. And the same thing will happen here with Ethereum. Right now, Ethereum is more of an experiment. What you see on it are smaller projects and people you know, kind of having fun. But if Ethereum 2.0 actually succeeds, not really just Ethereum, but whatever smart contract platform that remains secure succeeds, it will have the world built on top of it. It will have multiple trillions of dollars built on top of it. And I think people don't really understand what we're doing here with blockchain technology. Whether it's Ethereum, Cardano, or another blockchain, or maybe a combination of a few of them, the world data will be built on top of it. Real estate contracts, business proposals, marriage license, health records, really almost anything you can think of will be on these blockchains. It will simply not be enough. If Ethereum 2.0 is successful, it's possible it will become even more congested than it is today. Like I said, the world built on top of it. There will always be a need for layer two scaling solutions. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.